Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Optimate 7 Smart Battery Charger. This is going to be a high performance battery charger for your 12 volt and your 24 volt batteries. This is going to have a bunch of different features, a bunch of different specs, so stick around for the video where we go through the process and into those specs. So this is going to be helpful for when you want to maintain the battery life of the batteries on your large trucks, your buses, your trailers, your RVs, even your car batteries if you really need to use it for that. We have some different features here. This is an automatic battery charger. This is a tester. This is a maintainer. And this helps test out or see how well are your batteries performing. With its weatherproof case and the way it's designed to work in the winter time, you can even use this when it's up to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to be helpful for charging your trailers and making sure your battery life is still okay even in the cold. So we're going to go through the process of how to use this and then that will explain how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to install this and connect it to our battery. So the first thing I like to do is disconnect our battery. If you have a disconnect switch in your trailer, go ahead and press that. In our case, we can't access, access it, so I'm going to disconnect it manually. So starting with our negative terminal, I'm just going to disconnect this. With this now off, there we go. Make sure that it's secured. And then you're going to take off your positive terminal as well. From here, you can either connect your clamps or you can connect your ring terminals, but you have to disconnect your battery. Once your battery has been disconnected, you can now connect your charger. So your charger on one side has the plug with a protector. Take that protector off. And usually if you're charging up your truck's batteries, you're charging up your trailer's batteries, they're usually parked outside. So you're going to need an extension cord to connect from your garage to your outside. This cord is going to be about 70 inches long. Plug that in. On your charger side, you're going to have this SAE connector, and this is going to connect to one of the two cables you have included with your kit. So you have two different options here. You can either use the ring terminals, highly recommended since it includes a 15 amp fuse and it sits on your batteries for a longer period of time. Great since it's not easy to disconnect these. You can also just use these clamps. This is going to be easier to use, but you will have to make sure that it's connected securely. Either or whichever one you choose, they both fit the same way. On the ring terminal clamp though, you have this really cool dust cover. It has two parts. So there's a top part, which is the dust cover, which is also good just to keep on your battery side if you have it parked. That way, even if it's out in the elements, you will be okay. Those connections will be protected. But this dust cover also works as a sleeve. So notice how this pops out. And that way, when you do have it connected to your charger, right over there, there, that sleeve pops in towards the middle, covers both those connections, which is great. Once you have everything set up and you know you have enough extension cord, you're ready to connect to your battery, the first step is going to be to choose your charge. So you have different options here on the Optimate 7. You have the 12 volt or the 24 volt. You also have some smaller changes for different voltages within it. So check out the instruction manual. It's also written right over here with those different voltages. We have a 12 volt battery, so I'm just going to set it to that. Then it's going to save your setting. And a really cool thing is even if your AC connection is cut off, it still remembers that setting. That way, when the power comes back on, it continues there. Make sure to get the correct charge before you plug in, though. So we'll connect this in the reverse that we took everything off. So in this case, we're going to do positive and then we're going to do negative. In our case, I'm using the clamps, but again, I highly recommend using the ring terminals if you can. The instant you connect, you're going to enter into step two. That's going to be the protection. So you have a bunch of different protection or safety guards in this uh, charger. If you have a reverse polarity, you're going to get an error message. If you have the incorrect voltage, or let's say you don't have the right setting because your battery is too sulfated, you're going to get an error message. You have that fuse, things like that. So that's really important because once you have it connected, you want to make sure you're doing it correctly. And if you have those different error messages, it's going to pop up right over there. All different error lights. Check your instructions to see what they mean. 
Once you connect it, it's gonna enter into step three, which is just the preparation to charge. This is a smart charger, so it's gonna take a one to two second delay where it just figures out what's the ambient temperature, what's your battery health, and from there, it will continue to step four. Step four is save. This is what happens, it's gonna be right over here at the bottom, if your battery is at below 50% charge or if it's extremely sulfated. So it's gonna try to save the battery. It's gonna try to charge it up from an extremely depleted battery. And then once it does so, you enter into step five at the 50% point. Step five is charge. And this is a smart charger. So it's trying to figure out the most efficient way of charging your battery. This is gonna get you up to 75%. And then once you've gone through step five, it then immediately enters into step six, which is where we are at right now. Step six is optimize. So that's where we are at right now. So it is equalizing our individual cells. It's optimizing our battery. Now, Ideally, this should all be over in about 120 minutes max, but you also have a safety limit. So when you go through step four, five, six, charging all the way from the bottom, it has a safety limit of 72 hours maximum. So this process is gonna take a while. So you don't have to be holding it the whole time. Even though it does have this weatherproof case, you don't have to leave it on the ground either. You have these zip tie inserts on the case itself, and this will allow you to just to keep it mounted to your trailer, to your vehicle, making it easier for you and easier for the charger. And now we have our eighth and final step. So we have it where it's green, which means our battery health is good. This is gonna be the optimate or the battery maintain step, where if you have a 12 volt battery, you're gonna have it at a specific temperature around 20 degrees Celsius. You're gonna have a float charge setting. If you have a 24 volt battery, you're also gonna have your optimum charge health. Your temperature is gonna change as well. The really good thing about this charger is it works even when it's super duper cold. So let's say it's winter time, up to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you're still okay to use this charger. But you're gonna want it to be green, and if your battery health drops below 90% at any point, that light is gonna turn off, telling you that your battery is not at the optimum health. So during your step eight, which is gonna be your float charge, a low current pulse is continuously delivered. This is to help prevent sulfation, and that way your battery's life and power is extended. So that's pretty much it for the use of your Optimate 7 charger. Again, this is ideal if you're using either your 12 volt or even your super strong 24 volt batteries. If you have those deep cycle batteries on your trailers, on your RVs, you need a special charger just to bring them back to life and make sure you prevent sulfation. That's what this is for. So you can see here how it's very easy to hook up. It does take a certain amount of time though, no more than 72 hours max. So that's something worth planning for. Comparing this with other Optimate chargers, so this is the Optimate 7 Smart Charger, which means it's great with 12 volt and 24 volt batteries. If you're only using a 12 volt battery, you might wanna consider something else. You could also be interested in the other versions of the Optimate 7, which is gonna be your Amphimatic chargers or even your select chargers. The select is your pro charger though, because you have to manually select. This one picks it for you. So I personally think this one's the easiest to use. So my personal thoughts about this battery charger is I do like how Optimate has different chargers for different situations and different batteries. The tricky part is, is figuring out which one's the right one for you. So hopefully this video helped you out with making that decision. Again, if you have 24 volt batteries, definitely go with this one. If you're using lithium ion batteries though, this is not the choice for you. There's an Optimate for lithium ion batteries too. If you have smaller items, let's say you have a motorcycle or you don't need as much power, you can even use the Optimate 2. That's your minimal performance, checks off the bare minimum boxes. If you wanna go above and beyond and get high performance though, that's where the Optimate 7 comes in handy.
And that was a look right here at our Optimate 7 Smart Charger for your 12 volt and 24 volt batteries right here at eTrailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoy the journey.